things that you can do with it and it's all put into one. I love how they put science and fun together. There's loads of experiments that you can do. You can also so kind of like could, work it out. Yeah, well. so you yeah. discovered it yourself, so it was really fun doing that. When I was about 13, uh, I'd watched this chap teach me physics and chemistry for two years and he was really quite inspiring. I thought that looks like a job that people enjoy themselves doing. That sounds like a job for me. Sometimes it's difficult to engage the students when we're teaching physics. They have this preconceived notion that physics is much more difficult than any other subject because sometimes it can be quite wordy, it can be quite mathematical. The Arduino Science Kit Physics Lab is a one-stop shop for all the experiments that you can do. It covers two main areas of physics. It covers magnetism and motion. It's all combined into one box, which makes it really accessible. The students can just pick it up, get it done, fit it together and boom, they're in. The, it doesn't take 20 minutes to set up, it's maybe three to four minutes. In the old days, we used to have to drag out big boxes of data loggers and plug them in and make sure we had enough laptops to connect them to. Now, the kit links directly to Google Science Journal, and so the students can access the data almost immediately because they're seeing it on a screen as well. It's something more accessible, something that they're more used to. There is a shift in the educational community about the whole kinesthetic learner, but personally myself, I've seen students who really need to be involved to comprehend what you're trying to explain to them, and this really helps with that. I see this as a far more gender inclusive uh, product. It's certainly not just for boys. I really, really like to push that notion that everybody is equal in my room. This kit makes it much more accessible for people to do practical physics. This could lead us into a new generation of new engineers, new inventors, and maybe, you know, diversify the field. If my students leave my classroom feeling like they've engaged and they've enjoyed the lesson and they've learned something new, I feel like I've done my job.